One by one, the collection is displayed. What am I supposed to do, sell out? Oh, you sold out a long time ago. Presenting rare and special programs, the Sci-Fi Series Collection. As soon as the censors saw the scripts, they said, oh my goodness, you can't do that. Don't bleed me down here, Bill, please! To the dark room coming up next science fiction and some of it is suspense and some of it is horror and some of it is um, we always like to think of it as uh, as a little old henry too with the twist endings we like to always come up with some big surprise and some of them we succeeded quite well i think um, and uh, others maybe not so well but we always were in there giving it our best shot Dark Room, well, that was the concept that uh, Bill had, uh, had come to me with, Bill Sackheim. He said, uh, you know, the whole thing revolves around a photographer, and then we'll use photographs as the centerpiece. And then we'll go in on the photograph, and then it'll be the story of what that photo... We just find ideas from everywhere. Somebody will say, what if so-and-so and so-and-so? And, -so? and, you know, somebody will spark from that and say, yeah, but if we turn it around and... And the next thing you know, we have a plot line. The thing that was great about Dark Room was that if it was a story that could be told in six minutes, then you tell it in six minutes, and you don't try and stretch it to a half an hour. I mean, that's a, it goes on a lot in television. You know, when we did Murder, She Wrote, I keep coming back to Murder, She Wrote, because I think there's a good analogy here that, that the story can't be just about a murder. That a murder has taken place, somebody's died, and we have to find out who did it, and that's a given. But the story must then be about something else. People who want something, a character who is in need and has to be fulfilled. There has to be other arcs. And I think the same is true of, uh, of even the darkest uh, of these dark rooms, that there's a, a plot besides just scaring somebody. There's got to be something that's deeply rooted in humanity. That doesn't necessarily mean it's sweet, but it's rooted in humanity, yeah. Also, I think you'll notice when Peter's writing, there's always this sense of humor. Always written with a sense of humor in it. That he's very modest about it, but you always have that something you've got to chuckle. Oh, you have to. Even Shakespeare knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Room, well, that was the concept that uh, Bill had, uh, had come to me with, Bill Sackheim. He said, uh, you know, the whole thing revolves around a photographer, and then we'll use photographs as the centerpiece. And then we'll go in on the photograph, and then it'll be the story of what that photograph is, whatever that happened to be. The show, and we sold it, uh, and the network thought they were buying Friday the 13th and uh, Halloween. And as soon as we started sending in scripts, we started to hear from the censors at ABC. <laughs> they had asked us to deliver Friday the 13th. We had given them Friday the 13th with several of the scripts. As soon as the censors saw the scripts, they said, oh my goodness, you can't do that. To compromise on the, the gory aspects, if you will, of the show. Which, in, a, in effect, I guess was good for it, because when you can't rely on that, then you've got to rely on other things like a little wit and a little humor and a little style and a little surprise and all the other things that you can do. One of the things that was hard about that show was to, to give it production value and still stay within the budget, uh, because these, these types of things, especially ones with special effects, that one happened to be makeup, but we did another one that was uh, so expensive it was mind-boggling, and yet we made it for the budget. And that was the that was the problem that he had because you see with a with a writer it's simple I sit down I put a piece of paper in the typewriter I go click 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 and it's all right there in my head and then he has to translate it to film uh, for the money and that's not always easy.